Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to Exclusive Models. Open up a wonder today. Today's episode is going to be on how to cut two step sleeve abaya dress using Dutchess fabric. I'm using four and yard of this Dutchess fabric. The first cutting is going to be the body, which I'll be making use of three yards out of the four and a half yards to cut it out. So the first fold is going to be into two, then into four. So this is into two first. Then into four, like this. You have to slant your folding this way. The slant folding like this. You can see the way I fold it. This is like a slant A shape. You can see it. You can see the upper part. You can see the down part. Yes, yeah. you can see. So you can cut you can cut it out in two ways. You can cut it like a triangle flay when you fold your fabric in triangle form. Then you try to take your shoulder measurement, arm measurement, and the length of the dress. That means it's going to be more full than this particular one. So you can cut it in that two ways. And the way I fold it out also is going to be full. So the first thing I'll be doing here is to take the shoulder measurement of eight inches. Shoulder measurement of eight inches. The folding has a shoulder slant already. You can see it. It has shoulder slant on its own. So I'm just going to go that way to get my eight inches. So starting from this head here, this is where the eight inches is. Then I'm going to check. You can see this is the area at which it reach. So from here, I'll be taking my ammo of nine inches it's not going to be the same as that eight inches because i want the ammo to be free not to be too tight that's i'm adding one inch to it like this you can see so from here now i'm going to use my ammo cord to get the ammo so you can see now this is now my ammo So from this ammo here, this is the line of the ammo. This is the area I'm going to deduct my bust measurement. You can see. So my bust measurement here is going to be 40 inches. That's 10 inches. In four places, it's going to give us 40. So with the same allowance, I'll be adding two inches of seam allowance to it you can see to make it 42 then i can still make use of my ammo cord to connect the line so you can see the line of the shoulder so this is now the hammer and the bust line and i've taken my bust measurement with additional seam allowance of two inches then from here i'm going to slant it down to the full length of the dress the full length of this i'm using i'm using length 60. so starting from the shoulder here you can see this is where my 60 inches is so when i want to take it from the side here it's not going to up to 60 but that means the edges will not be touching the ground so i'm just going to make a curve line to this particular 60. so that is going to the 60 inches is with the same allowance so there's no need of adding any allowance to it so this is how i'm going to cut the down part you can see it now so after this now there is no waste measurement because it's not fitted at the waistline so from here i'm just going to slant it down to the full length of the dress so you can use your ruler if your hand is not straight so you can see it now so after cutting it out this way the next thing i'm going to do is just to cut it out
so this is not a cutting the nice thing to do here is to cut out the neckline the neckline i'll be using here is 3.5 inches 3.5 inches for the wideness of the neck then the deepness is going to be 2.5 inches at the back then 3.5 for the front so before then i'm going to cut it together first so i'm trying to connect them together the deepness and the wideness you can see so the next thing is to cut it out you can see there i cannot take one out of this to cut out the front so i'm going to lower the front neckline to be three and a half and the initial one was 2.5 inches that means what i'm going to be adding here is just one inch then the one inch i'm going to connect it to the widest of the um, neck using my scissors So as you can see, so this is going to have um button. So you're still going to dip the back with um any inches of a tray, but here I'm making use of four inches from the neckline. Four inches, okay, four inches is here. This is my four inches. So I'm going to slit it down to four inches. So this is now the back neckline. So we're going to buy the neckline. Then I'm going to add my loop. Then we had our buttons to it. So we are done with the body. The next thing to cut out now is the sleeve. To cut out the sleeve, the first thing you're going to do is to cut the longest one. The longer part of the sleeve. So you're going to slant it. No, it has been folded into two this way, you can see. Then you slant it like this. You can see the way I slant my hand. So I'm going to slant it this way to get that perfect shape of sleeve. So the next thing to take is to take the um, the sleeve shape here, the one you're going to join to the ammo. So I'm just going to go down with four inches, four inches here. Then from here, I'm going to make a full shape of sleeve like this. That's it. Where I slant my hand this way. To this area then you take a measurement from here to get the length the length of our sleeve now is going to be 25 inches the length of the sleeve is 25 inches so this is this is 24 inches then i'll be adding one inch to it the 25 inches i'm talking about is with the same allowance so this is the one inch so 25 inches so I'm going to take it around. So let me just use from here to here also is one inch. So 25 inches. 25 inches. 25 inches. I'm going to connect the lines together. So like this. So the next thing is to cut it out. Thank you. 
so you cannot see it this is now the length of the sleeve so the next one i'm going to cut i will make sure it has the same ammo as this but it will not be that long with it to be 10 inches difference to give me that steps of sleeve so this is the cutting of the second step you can see they have the same ammo you're going to make them the same ammo because you're joining them together at the same um ammo line at the body so they must also add the same ammo so that's why we cut it out this way and this is the um the distance of the two the distance i use here is you can see let me take the distance from you it's seven inches you can see it's now seven inches from here this is my distance you can make any distance of a choice because it depends on how you want it to be so let me go and join it and show the finishes to you welcome back here the finish work so far this is the two step sleeve abaya kaftan you can see the two split sleeve you can see the steps you can see the way i stitch the edges of the sleeve and including the neckline you can see the neckline i make use of a bias to turn the neckline and i added my slit at the back but i show it to you i turn it as well with a bias and there is a loop here where i'm going to attach my button to you can see this is the front now you can see and this is the side this is the other sleeve you can see they have the same wideness you can see the way i cut it so if you try that um the way i did my is going to turn out nice like this you can see how simple this is now if you are watching me for the first time please at the end of this class make sure you subscribe to my channel and also on your notification bell so that whenever i upload any tutorial you'll be notified and for those people that have already subscribed i will appreciate you guys for watching my video only see my next tutorial bye assalamu alaikum